Hey guys, how's it going? Got another cool project to look at today. So we're going to be turning this K5HL into a K7HLA. I'm going to show you how to build the mounting brackets uh, and also how to uh, install them on the uh, manifold of this horn. So I've got my spare bells right here that I've ordered. These are brand new straight from Micro Precision, uh, as is this horn. <clears throat> now I've already got this horn set up to accept these bells. So my, uh, let's see, my 3A that I bought is already down here, and then I bought this 5. So this 4 right here, this is a straight 4, it came off this horn, because I'm going to be putting the 4 and the 5 on the sides. So we've got a 1L in the middle, and then we've got a 1 here, we've got a 2, we've got a 3A, and then a 3. Uh, we're going to add the 4 and then the 5 on the sides. So I'm going to show you how to build the brackets, and we are going to be turning this into this. So this is going to be a two-part series, so y'all stick around for the second part. The first part's going to be putting the horn together, getting the brackets made, and we'll show you what to do. And then the second part's going to be painting uh, and polishing the bells. As you can see, the bells were polished. So anyway, let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, so here's the material you're going to need. Uh, we've got this plate steel, and we've got a cork gasket uh, for a K-horn. And then also these 3 8 inch uh, pieces of pipe. Uh, I think these are three and a half inches long each. So this is the material you're going to need to do this. Uh, like I said, we're, we've got this cork. So we're just going to set it like that. Hit it with some spray paint. That's going to give you your outline of what you need to cut out. Uh, you can also trace like a bell foot if you don't have a... Uh, cork gasket but uh, that's an easy way to do it so anyway let's get that knocked out uh, so i got my pipe cut to length and that is spray painted next i'm going to go ahead and get my uh, mounting plates cut out and i'll see you after this so here's what we have after we're done getting everything cut out and drilled uh, i left the bottom one square now it's not a perfect square i just cut it out uh roughly so, I mean, you could leave it like that, or you can go ahead and finish it out and round the edges off, um, just whatever you want to do. So, the next step is going to be weld your pipes onto your uh, mounting brackets that we just finished up. So, I'm going to get that done, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, so we got these welded up. Now, I'm by far uh, no expert welder, and my welds look like crap, but I do get good penetration uh, so these are going to hang on. They just don't look good. Uh, and also these aren't going to have a ton of weight on them anyway, because we are only going to be supporting the number four and the number five bells with these. So I'm not really worried at all. I've, I've done this mod several times on other horns and I've never had any issue. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to bring these over to my blast cabinet and, uh, clean them up. So we've got these cleaned up, uh, about 30 seconds in the blast cabinet. And other than the splatter, the wells aren't too bad. I don't reckon. But anyway, so this is what the finished product looks like. You know, like I said, you can leave them squared off like that one, or you can round them off. Uh, it doesn't matter. So now we're going to bolt them up to the bells. Well, we're actually going to screw them in the manifold first, then we're going to bolt them to the bells. So let's pull the horn out and we'll get started on that. All right, guys. So I've got the K5HL in front of us. I've got the 1L, the 1, the 2, I've got a 3 and a 3A on here. I've already got this horn set up to accept these new bells. We're going to be putting a 4 and a number 5 on. Uh, so we're all, I've already got the uh, plug out of the manifold, as you can see here. This is where the plug was at. We're just going to be screwing in our brackets that we made. Uh, so go ahead and grab your bracket. Uh, here's one. This was the square one. I went ahead and ground it off a little bit more. Uh, just to match the bell foot. Uh, you don't have to do that. I may actually grind on this just a little bit more. But uh, anyway, you can leave them square if you don't want to worry with that. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything. It's still going to mount up fine. So let's go ahead and get this screwed in. Uh, I did put some anti-seize on these threads. Um, you know, it's always good to use anti-seize, uh, especially when you're going to be cranking this down uh, pretty tight because you can actually shave some aluminum off on the inside if you're cranking something down real tight. So the anti-seize just helps kind of uh, mitigate that friction. But uh, anyway, I'm just gonna leave this like this, but I'm probably gonna give it, because it's already snug, but I'll probably give it another good turn, maybe even two if I can, because you want this good and tight. 
you don't want your bell to be able to swivel back and forth once it's once the horn's finished. Uh, you know, you just want to make sure it's tight. Also, by tightening it, you're sucking it into the manifold, so you're getting this bell right here that you're mounting closer into the horn, so it's going to look better because you don't want it sticking out a lot further. You want it to match up with these lines on these bells. Uh, so there's this one. I'm going to go ahead and flip around to this side, and we will screw this in right here. And the same thing. Uh, just screw it in, get it good and tight, and then once she's snug, like we're, we're pretty getting pretty tight. You want to do another rotation or two. You want to get it real good and tight uh, so you don't have that bell swiveling. Um, so anyway, that is that. Uh, next, you need to get your bells. Here's our bells. Uh, make sure you've got O-rings and your hardware, and we're going to bolt them up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to make you watch me bolt these up. So uh, I'll get these bolted up, and I'll be right back. So here it is. This is the K7HLA. Uh, this is bells. You've got a 1L, you've got a 1, you've got a 2. On the bottom, you've got a 3 and a 3A. You've got a 4 right here and then a 5 over here. So this is going to be a pretty cool horn. It's, uh, they sound pretty good and they're very loud if that's what you're going for. So these mounts, like I said, this is what you don't want. See how I can move this real easy? Now again, I don't have these tight because I'm about to be taking this apart. It's going to go for paint. Uh, but you want to make sure these are cranked down real good and real tight so if it gets hit, you know, it's not going to move. Uh, so that's something you want to look for. Um, same on the other side here is the five. Just make sure it's tightened down real good. Also, what that's going to do for you is you can see our gap right here. This is a little too wide for what I want. I'm looking for something more like your factory gap right here. So by cranking that mount down, it's going to... Uh, tighten it up, get it good and snug, and it's also going to suck that bell in so your gap's going to be better. Uh, so you want that on both sides uh, to make it look its best. So anyway, that is that on this horn, guys. Y'all make sure and check out part two where we're going to be painting. We're going to be doing a purplish blue color, and I'm actually going to be uh, polishing the inside of the bells. So it's going to look really good. But anyway, I appreciate it, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.